But again, this sprinkler head will flow about 13 gallons of water a minute. 13 gallons of water. So we got smoke. I can see the smoke in the unit. There's our smoke alarm. That's your early warning. Get out, stay out, and close the door on your way out. Get out, stay out, and close the door. So you can see we got a pretty significant fire. It's got to get to 155 degrees at the ceiling. And there's their sprinkler. It's got to contain the fire. 20, 27 seconds. So we've got this one sprinkler head flowing, 13 gallons of water. The rest of the house would be fine. This would flow for 10 minutes, 10 minutes, or until the fire department gets there to turn it off. So you can see how little of water is flowing. And everybody talks about, well, what about water damage? Oh, water damage. It's like, look, everything will dry out, but nothing will unburn. So we'll take water in this unit way before, wait till you see what happens over on this other side. So. We'll go ahead and shut the system off and we'll let the firefighters go in and make sure the fire's put completely out. So again, early warning. You can still hear the smoke alarm going off. Early warning, early suppression, and then emergency response. So we'll let them charge up the uh, line here. They'll make sure the fire's out. And again, you can see if we flowed, if we let that run for 10 minutes, that's only 130 gallons of water. These guys with this hose and their nozzle will flow about 150 gallons of water a minute. Let's go ahead, James, let's light this up. So again, he's gonna light the fire over here. And we'll see again, this is brand new furniture, so. And you'll see when it gets finished what it's all made out of. I see some smoke, so we've got smoke. If you'll start our timer, Vicki. We've got smoke. This is, there's no, there's only paper and a trash can lit. So now you can see the fire growth that burns up the curtains here. Starts across the ceiling. Now most people think that fire, you used to hear fire doubles in size with time. That's not true. Fire grows exponentially, and you'll see that here. So. As the curtain becomes consumed, you'll probably see the fire die down some. So, but you can see the smoke. Watch how the smoke changes colors once that couch starts getting consumed. So we went from years ago when your couch and your curtains and things were natural products. Well, that's not the case anymore. So you've probably already got 500 degrees at the ceiling in this unit. And there's our TV face falling off. And so you see the smoke change colors. It gets more dense. That couch is turning into that smoke. And so you see how dense that, just think if that smoke was coming out of a regular three-foot door in your house. And now we've got fire. We've got fire under the couch, behind the couch, and on top of the couch. And you can see this smoke layer as it goes, watch this, watch the couch, and then watch this chair. And you'll start to see that that, that, that stuff off gases. So you can see that the couch is being consumed. And as that smoke starts to go, this is two minutes into the fire. So, and now then watch this chair in the front. As the rest of the couch starts being consumed, you can start to see the other materials in there start to smoke. 
So as the smoke lights off, then now you can see it start drawing to the fire. And look at my milkshake cup. It's melting down. But watch this chair. This chair will just start delaminating and peeling. And there goes my newspaper. See my newspaper on fire? And look at that couch. It just starts getting consumed. So that's what we know is flashover. Go ahead and hit it, guys. That's flashover, folks. That, if you pump that smoke out into a normal house, it would be enough to be toxic in the entire place. And when we get finished, when we clear the firefighters, we can come up here and see that. And so again, you got the early warning, that's the smoke alarm. You got to get out, stay out, close the door. Then you got the sprinkler if you got it. And then the emergency response, that's the fire department. Fire department average response time is probably 10 minutes. You got to take the call processing time, that's 90 seconds. 911, what is your emergency? They get the info in and then they dispatch the guys and gals on the fire truck. And then the guys and gals on the fire truck have to get ready as well. And then they have to drive there. And then when they get there, they have to get their stuff and set up and pull their hoses. That's another 90 seconds. So that's what we call total turnout time. So as you can see, it takes some time for all that to get in place. and 42 seconds to flash over. Two minutes and 42 seconds. You've seen my, you seen my uh, newspaper light off. So, And then now the fire department is doing what they call overhaul operations. So you can see how all that's damaged and destroyed there. There's no saving that. We work with the water restoration companies. They'll take this chair and furniture out over here, dry it out, and then guess what? We'll put it in this side and burn it. So, and as you can tell over there, my newspaper was fine. I think we washed it out, but. So, yeah, so they're making sure that the fire's good now. And that's all that's left. You can see what that couch and chair is made out of. So again, I can't thank you all enough for what you do to help keep this from happening. So the switches you make and the things that notify the fire department, that makes a difference and saves lives every day. So. Yes, that is a pot and flow switch. <laughs> So good, we'll get that out of the way. You're gonna spend some time with Common Voices, but when these guys get done, you can come up and look. So thank you very much, though.